Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Nigel Short and Alexander Laughland. This is a game from Nigel Short's simultaneous exhibition, played in New Zealand in 2014. Nigel usually plays these exhibitions against 30 chess players at the same time. Can you play against 30 people at the same time? Hmm? No? Too many? You can try by playing against 29 first and then proceed to 30 after you beat them. Okay, let's have a look at the game. Nigel had white pieces and he started with d4. Alexander Laughlin played knight to f6, knight to f3, g6, bishop to g5, going for tour attack, bishop to g7, knight from b to d2, c6, e3. Laughland castle at kingside, bishop to d3, h6 attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, d5, so far so good. Nigel short castle at kingside too. Black to move. Black has no risk moves available like queen to b6 or perhaps c5 looks promising. Instead, Alexander Laughlin decided to win white dark squared bishop. So he played g5 attacking the bishop, bishop to g3, knight to h5 threatening, knight takes bishop. Why to move? What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? What is the best move for white? Hmm? Nigel Short played the best move. Bishop takes knight on b8, rook takes bishop, and now knight takes on g5, discovered attack on the knight on h5, e5. If h takes on g5, queen takes knight, and white queen is too close to black king. So, Laughlin played e5. Why to move? How would you continue? Nigel Short played knight to h7. Looks like that bishop to h7 check would also work. Then the king to h8, knight takes on f7 check, rook takes knight, queen takes on h5 attacking the rook, rook to f8, bishop to g6. White is also winning in this variation. But perhaps knight to h7 is even more fun, attacking the rook e4, attacking the bishop, knight takes rook, queen to g5, well if e takes on d3, queen takes knight, and after king takes, c takes on d3, white is better in this variation too. So Laughlin played the queen to g5, f4, attacking the queen, pawn takes pawn, and passan. And the best way to recapture is with the queen, threatening check, knight to f6, defending f7 pawn. How would you continue now? And remember, Nigel Short has only a couple of seconds to make each move. Short played knight to h7, knight takes knight, queen takes on f7, check. King to h8, your move, how would you continue? Dobius one is the best. Queen to e8, check. Knight to f8, rook takes knight, check. Bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop, check. Queen to g8, blocking, and there is checkmate in two. Queen takes on h6, check. Queen to h7, queen takes queen, check, mate. Did you ever play in a single against Grandmaster? And how did you go? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.